In this part of the video, we'll show how to add views to our currently blank drawing sheet. Our goal is going to be to create a two-sheet drawing. The first sheet will include orthographic views of our bicycle assembly. That will include a front view, a top view, a right side view, and we will also include an isometric view that looks like this. The second sheet of the drawing will include an explosion of our frame assembly. Going back to our blank drawing and looking at our view layout tab, we have two important commands, model view and projected view. Model view allows us to introduce new views of a part or assembly. Projected view allows us to make projections off of those introduced views. This drawing currently has no views at all, so we will start with Model View, which opens up a Model View Feature Manager. We have Open Documents, or we can browse to the document that we want to show a view of. We want the Bicycle Top Assembly, and we have to hit the Next button with a blue arrow. It gives us page two of the Model View Manager. Here we can choose the configuration of the part or assembly we wish to show a view of. Here we can choose the orientation. I want a front view and when I drag this out and click it down I get a front view of my bicycle assembly. SolidWorks will select what it thinks is an appropriate scale for the view for the size drawing sheet and it is seldom what you actually desire. Here we see this view looks very small, so I'll go down to Sheet 1 tab, right click, Properties, and at the top I'll change the scale from 1 to 20 to 1 to 10. I have a bigger view, which will still allow more room on the sheet for additional views in this area. Also, if your view happens to be cluttered with sketches the way this one is, just go up to View, Hide All Types to clean it up. Now I want to create a top view and a right side view that are projected off of this parent view. This is where I go to my projected view command, select the view I'm going to project from, and if I drag upward I get a top view, if I drag rightward I get a right side view, leftward left side view, and so on. Here's my top view. If I do this again, here's my right view. I can even make a projection off of a projected view. As I've done here. Which I will not do actually for this drawing. I can drag the parent view around on the drawing and it forces the child projected views to keep their alignment with it can also move the child views but only in a direction that maintains that alignment. So here you see I can move this side to side but I cannot move it up and down because that would break the alignment with the parent view. The last view I want to add is an isometric view which I'll place in this area and because it is not a projection of any of the existing views I have to hit model view once again, bicycle top assembly, next, now we'll choose the isometric icon and drag view out into this location. See that once again SolidWorks has given us a very small scale for this view. Click on the view which reopens the drawing view manager. Go down to the bottom. I can set this view scale to the overall sheet scale which was 1 to 10 or I can use a custom view for this scale for this view which does not match the scale of any of the other views. I will just set it to the sheet scale. For this last step I'll change the type of view to shaded so I have one color view and three black and white views.